Uh, uh, my nephew is down from Alaska. Yeah, uh, he's only here for a minute because they're on their way to Arizona uh, for the winter. They're going to winter in Arizona. And uh, Adam, Adam, Adam is his name. And I thought he'd be here this morning. Uh, I wanted to tell him he has an aunt, Aunt Kathy. Aunt Kathy. Uh, she just retired from, 60, or from 45 years of teaching elementary school. Yeah, just retired. She posted on Facebook this week. I don't read Facebook, but LaVon shared this with me. Very important, very important. She posted on Facebook this week. She says, I don't want to sound braggadocious. But she said, I put an entire puzzle together in one day. The box said two to four years. <laughs> Stand with me. <laughs> well, amen. Amen. Well, let's go come back home. Oh, how beautiful it is. How beautiful it is. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. The Lord has certainly been good to us. We have the privilege of uh, our choir today, who have uh, been at this quite a while. And uh, all of their work will come to fruition in the next 35 minutes. And then after that, there's a brunch this morning, if you plan to, to come for that. There's a brunch, so stick around. Enjoy this. All right. We'll pray. Father, we thank you for the work and the effort that believers put in to expressing their love for you. Father, we thank you for the practices and the work and everything else that's gone into presenting a musical program that praises the name of Christ. Bless this crew. Bless Nancy as she leads them. Father, may your blessing rest upon this people. In your name we pray, amen, amen. and amen.
to celebrate and tell God's story of redemption, a story that started even before time began. But tonight, we'll just focus on a small part of the story, the part where a little boy is born to his mother, Mary, in a stable in Bethlehem. And we don't want to simply tell the story, we want to share the plan that this child would one day carry out for his father. Join us now as we all rejoice in him with our hearts, our souls, and our voices. Christ was born so man could be blessed forevermore. But before God could bless us, he had to break the curse that we had brought upon ourselves. Walking in darkness for thousands of years, we needed a light. So God sent his own son, just as prophets had predicted he would. The light of the world would come to show us the way.
and he did come at the perfect time, and they named him Jesus. He was the sign of Emmanuel, God with us. There was a celebration after his birth. Angels and a star announced his coming. Shepherds and wise men fell at his feet and worshipped him. God's plan was starting to unfold. For the sake, for the same God who said, let light shine out of darkness, would shine his light in our hearts to reflect his glory to the rest of the world. We have asked him to shine in us and through us that you may see him as we do. of the world would be our entrance into the awesome presence of Almighty God. By his blood we would be set free from the darkness and that freedom would give us hope even during the hard times in life. We pray for blessings, we pray for peace. Comfort for family, protection while we sleep. We pray for healing, for prosperity. 
We pray for your mighty hand to ease our suffering. And all the while you hear each spoken need, yet love us way too much to give us lesser things. Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know you're near? And what if trials of this life are your mercies in disguised we pray for wisdom your voice to hear we cry in anger when we cannot feel you near we doubt your goodness we doubt your love as if every promise from your word is not enough and all the while you hear each desperate plea yet long that we'd have faith to believe life are your mercies in disguise when friends betray us when darkness seems to win we know this pain reminds this heart that this is not this is not our home We have a great treasure, the power of light and hope in our hearts, but we are like jars of clay sometimes, fragile, breakable, yet we are filled with his extraordinary power so that all may know in our weakness that our strength comes from God and not from within ourselves. We may be pressured in every way, but we are not crushed. We may be confused, but not in despair. We may be persecuted, but never abandoned. We are sometimes struck down, but not destroyed. For we have received the ultimate blessing, a Savior who was God himself. Oh, oh, oh. 
We who were once enslaved by sin can now be free from its penalty. Even death is no longer a threat. He has taken the sting out of it and given us victory over it. He has lifted that curse and blessed us beyond measure with eternal life in him. Imagine what it will be like when we see God and his son sitting together on heaven's throne. Throughout eternity, there will be no more sickness, no more pain, no sorrows, no tears. There will be no more night. blessed us, hasn't he? He has showered us with light to guide our way and hope to see us through hard times, salvation from the chains of sin, and even eternal life for when our days on earth are done. That's why we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, because it was he who came to die as a payment for our sin, and then be raised to life again. Now we can live and die in peace. Because that same power God hath used to raise his son is at work in us. So let's sing, let's shout his praises, let us declare his blessings tonight and forevermore. For the curse of sin to be broken, Christ was born for this. For the gates of hell to be open, Christ was born for this. For our Spirit, sweet release. So 
Christ was born for this, that we can find peace, joy, and hope in him.
sing. to see Mary up there back here yeah I looked through over there and I could see Mary doing all the words <laughs> Mary had been in the hospital and she couldn't be up there but praise God for the new and all these that are here thank you so very very much Judy <laughs> and a beautiful job she did. Beautiful job. All right. Remember now, there's not going to be Sunday school. We're going to direct into a, into a brunch. And uh, so uh, that's going to be back there ready for you. Uh, they're going to need a few minutes to prepare. Uh, so you can mill around. But we're going to pray and dismiss this uh, wonderful session, and, uh, and bless the food as well. Father, Lord Jesus, God, oh Lord, thank you. You were born for this. Yes. Yes, Lord. You were born that we may know redemption, that we may know the grace of God, that you so loved the world you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And Father, we thank you for that. We thank you for this wonderful musical presentation of that message. We thank you for all the work and all the effort and all the energy and the love that went into producing it. And we pray your blessing upon everyone who in any way had a part. Father, we thank you for the day, for the opportunities, and we thank you, Father, for the food that is now prepared for the meal to follow. So bless, Father, in all that we do, that we might bring glory to your name. We love you, Lord, and we dismiss now in your name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Amen.